What is shaking, everybody? Oh, we got phone call. A little bit ago about going down to Norton, Kansas, pick stuff up, going up to Ord, Nebraska. Not too bad of a trip for me going down there. Uh, I'll probably have to self-load, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's getting close to honeymoon time here, so everything's kind of been pretty sparing for me. Gonna go take the truck, put in Peterbilt uh, before we take off on the honeymoon. They're gonna put the loader hood on, I think, switch the moose mashers out on it, and do all that good jazz, and then blow the coolers out. And we'll go from there. But I'm not sure if this is gonna be the last deal before the honeymoon or if we're gonna have something else popping up. But as far as I know, this is gonna be it. So we're gonna shag down there. Should be. Uh, between 75 and 85 miles. I can't remember exactly how far it is down there, depending which way I go. And, uh, up to Ord from there, I really don't have a fucking clue, so we'll see how that works, but I'll come with y'all here in a bit, and we'll see if we can have some fun. Alrighty, we are set up. I don't know how many we're getting. Change plans are going to Burwell instead of Ord, which is better. Because then I can just call my cousin. All he has to do is open the chute up and tell me where to put him and everything's peachy. And I am not used to other people being at this sale barn, so... A lot of people bringing my cows up and everything today, so... It worked out good. We'll see how everything shapes up from there. My trip to Burwell shouldn't be bad. If I don't get a video here loading these buggers, I'll certainly get one unloading them. Alrighty. We have made it. Burwell. Gather all our stuff here, get the rattle paddle and see if we can grab the rattle paddle this time. Alrighty, look at the lights. Ready to come off, girls? Okay. Do -do -do -do. Flip you around. Oh, uh, yeah. Call my cousin Craig. See what pen to put him in. He went out here and he set one up for us. Actually, got this alleyway pretty clean. Usually, she's a little thick. But even if they tell you they got one set up, you always come out here and double check and look. That's it right there. I got hay and water and everything else in there, so we're good. But you always want to double check. That way, if they didn't get it open, you don't have cows running clear at the other end of the feedlot or worse. So, always a good rule of thumb. We got 62 heifers, 732 average comes to around 45,000 pounds or whatever in the wagon so we ended up running get out of here we ended up running uh, 25 25 and 12 didn't load any in the nose if I would have had to load the nose I would have had to gate the centers, and they're not going far enough for that. If they're going long distance, I would have gated the centers and put some in the nose, keep them a little looser, but doing this, they don't really need that. Okay, ladies, come on! Hey! Oh, you little buggers. Hey, girls! 
There you go, sweetie. There you go. Good job, ladies. Come on. Sweetheart. Come on. Good job, lady. Okay, first 12. <laughs> now we'll get in here and get some 25. up so I gotta get everything to work first. Alright pretty girls come on come on ladies there we go Okay, when we get ready to do the top, I always make sure I got myself an out, so I always come out here. Make sure I got my gate open. That does two things for me. It makes it easier for me to get out if I gotta run. And it also gives these ladies a little show of a blockage. And then when I close that up, it looks like a wide open track down there. A little bit of a psychological thing. Come on, girls. Look at me, beautiful. Look at me. There you go. Come on, sweetheart. Just like that. Yeah, I stuck my arm over there, skirt her. ladies good girls it's nice when they do all the work Go up here and double check. Make sure I got no other ones up here. So never gonna leave one behind. Now we're gonna walk down the chute, follow them around, go lock them up. Oh. Love it when things go easy. I really like this feed lot too. 
Good cowboys, fat cattle load nice and easy. I always love unloading here. Works great all the way around. There we go. There we go. Oh, wonder, wonder, wonder. Okay, this thing's a little different because we got two. this through pull this back just way gates are done yep, yep, through there locks them in that way I'll pull this one back get this gate back Oh, the joys. Okay. There we go. Pull the pin back. There we go. Got that locked in. Pull that through there. Chain through it. This one. Close the holding pin back up. Chain through it. Bye, George. We're good to go. Alrighty, they got food and water now. I'm gonna go back and put my ramp back up. Probably pull my end gate up all the way for the wind. And if nothing else is happening, I'm going home. I also like to note, I'm gonna close everything up over here too. I'm gonna close the chute divider up and close the top chute gate up. That way, if anything breaks the fence, breaks out of a pin, then nothing's gonna be jumping off the high dive. There we go. All in the name of fun. Alrighty, some light up in here. Bugger. 44020. Pretty light load. Uh, don't get a pro rate with it, obviously, which is kind of what I figured. Usually is coming out of this place. Or coming out of where we load it, anyway. There in Norton. But everything walked on and walked off. And like I tried to explain earlier, uh, 62 head, 732 average, 45,000 pounds. If I was going a long way, I would have threw some in the nose and I would have gated the centers where I was only going uh, under 200 miles. I just get, uh, said the hell with the nose and just loaded top deck, belly, and back. 25, 25, 12. If you're going a longer way, I like to keep them a little looser, but we're just going to be a straight quick shot, pack them together, everything works out great. So, but I think I'm going to get off here, guys, and I think I'm heading for home. So, I hope you all enjoyed this little bit of unloading these kibs and short little load. But I'll come at you all later. Thank you all for watching.